guys what's up welcome back to my channel so on my last video that I actually uploaded yesterday a lot of you had questions about the hair that I'm currently wearing even in my outfit of the day video and my foundation routine ever since I put up a video with me wearing this hair you guys had questions on what kind of hair it is and where I got it from and things like that and even friends and family has been asking about this hair I even got questions on my Instagram so I wasn't gonna do it because I always promise myself that if I'm interview not interviewing, if I'm reviewing a hair company and I don't like the hair, I'm not gonna do a review. You know? But you guys wanted to know. And it's not like I don't like the hair, it's just that it's not what I thought it would be. But anyways, let's get into it. So first thing and foremost, this hair is from AliExpress. This is my first purchase ever from AliExpress and probably my last I don't know you guys see the hair on camera and you guys love the hair because the curls look nice it looks very moisturized it just looks really nice but trust me two hours after I finish recording the hair is just big and dry and knotty so many tangles it just looks like I'm trying to rust and I'm not trying to turn no dread so yeah back to what I was saying before I start getting into the hair I got this hair from Aliexpress this is the Mongolian kinky curly hair I got it in inches 20 22 24 and 26 and as you can see this is how long the 26 is like right up to my boobs but if you order any type of version here they measure curly hair when it's stretched out so I guess that's kind of fair for 26 and also I only have in the 26, the 24, and the 22 because the 20 couldn't fit and thank God I didn't put it in. Here's the 20 right here because this hair is big already. It looks kind of tame now because I just washed it. I got out the shower two, about two hours ago because I was watching Just Kiki. And it's pretty tame and I didn't like detangle it after I got out the shower. I only detangled it while I was in the shower. So this is why it's still tame. If I had detangled it after I got out the shower, it would have been a little bit bigger. A lot bigger. But anyways, this is the 20th inch right here. 20th inch of hair this is how it is and it's a bit short so I'm glad I didn't put it in and that's how it is stretched out so this bundle was not touched at all so I only have in three bundles I paid $171.50 with free shipping for all four bundles and the longest inch is 26 so I said you know what let me try it. if it doesn't work I don't feel like I lost out on anything because usually inches up to 22 24 three bundles is around 200 300 dollars so I said you know let me try it also it's summertime I want something I can wet get up and go get up go get get up wet it and go but this is not that here this is kinky it okay they said curly hair is high maintenance this is the highest of maintenance you will ever have to do for any type of hair i feel like this here i ever since i got it done i got it done june 22nd last week sunday and today is july 1st that's literally a week and two days and I felt like I've had this hair in forever. I get up and I wash this hair every single day. I do not use shampoo at all. I don't, Can you get out? I do not use shampoo at all. I haven't used shampoo since I've got this hair. I only use conditioner with it. So basically, I co-wash it every day, as you guys would say, call it co-washing. Every single day because the hair is so dry no matter what I put it in. Put in it. I bought this Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream for eight dollars. This is what it looks like. This is by. Is this the organics thing? Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's eight dollars. And the first day I put it in, actually, that video with the outfit of the day with the acid wash skirt and me doing my foundation routine. That was the first day I put it in. Like I had got it sewn in that morning. And I recorded those videos in the evening and I actually have some clips to show you from that day when I put it in how it looked and after I put this in as well don't get me wrong this works good but for eight dollars this is halfway done 
for a one time use the first day I put it in I used this and I put it in my hair and I'm like oh my gosh they, the hair just looks so defined couple hours later not even couple hours later because couple is like four six hours later like within the next hour or two my hair felt dry it didn't feel as moist as it did before and I used this and I used a spray bottle with water and conditioner in it to and then after I put in the sprayed it with the water and condition it in it and then I brush it out with my paddle brush I put this in it to define the, the curls even more and I love that it looked good before after I did that for the next hour and I for the within the next hour or two the hair was just dry and it was just big and then it, like if you lift it up you will see like all the hair it was just melt not melting together but you can just tell that it was like I'm growing dreads like I was growing dreads so this works but this is eight dollars and within the first use half of it was gone I'm not buying another one of these so ever since that day I said you know what, let me put this down and find something else another route to go because I'm not buying another bottle of that so so like I said I washed I co-wash the hair every day every day I get out the shower uh, every day I go in the shower. Every day I go in the shower. I wet it and I put my Tresemme conditioner in it. And the conditioner I use, I don't know why I didn't get it to show you guys, but it's the Rich Moisture one, which is very important to me because, like I said, this hair is extremely dry. Okay, this is the type of paddle brush I use. I have tons of paddle brushes. But this one right here with this type of material is just hard. It's good for when I de when it's wet. I brush through it and then I I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so I brush through the hair while it's wet and then once I get towards the end I turn the brush and then this hardness right here when I put it against the hair, it just makes the hair curl like a rubber band. It just snaps curls right up if I just brush it out the curls is gonna be very very frizzy so I use the side of this brush and it helps a lot so after my discovering that okay this hair is too dry I need to find something that will work but something that I don't have to buy a new bottle of it every few days I said you know what I should try coconut oil and I got my coconut oil and so far I don't know if you can tell but I'm almost done I got this like probably four days ago I'm not almost done I mean I'm just saying that it, it moved usually when you have oils like this and you put a little bit in your hair you don't see it really move that much this this is moving so it's probably gonna be done within the next month and I'll probably take this out within the next month because this is too much maintenance for me but yeah I have my bottle with hot hot water I put one pump of conditioner in it the moisturizer conditioner and then I put a little tip of oil in it to spray my hair and this is what I use throughout the day so like in the next three four hours my hair is really dry I just spray it in there and I'm good to go not only do it look moisturized it has like this nice little shine to it because of the oil also when I get out the shower after I finish doing the paddle brush and or whatever I put a little bit of the oil in my hand and I rub it throughout the hair and that's what's going to tame down the frizz add a little shine so when it air dries because I don't use the um, blow dryer with the diffuser I did try it but I felt like my hair wasn't really getting dry and I just felt hot it's summer I'm not using no blow dryer so I let it air dry, which is what I let this one do today. I let it air dry. Like this is good. And with the oil, it looks really, really nice. So yeah, I think that's all I have to tell you guys. I do have a clip of the video which I'm showing to you right now. I mean, a, a video that I'm showing to you right now of when I first got the package, just unboxing it, showing you how the hair comes. And then after I finger combed one bundle, how it looks afterwards. And then, in this clip right here is when I first, first got it done and put it in. When I sewed it in, oh yeah, that was also a question that somebody asked me was, it, is it sewed in? Yes, it is sewed in. I used the Ivy flip over method, which <laughs> for kinky hair, for a relaxed person, it's not going to work. So 
so don't even try it. Maybe some curly hair where I could use the flexi rod or something. Perm rods, but fake kinky hair. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I'm relaxed and my hair isn't like extremely short. Like I have a decent length of relaxed hair. But it's, it's whatever. I'm glad I did the flip over method either way because majority of my hair is covered up as opposed to if I did a regular sewing I would have to leave out some for a part or something so I'm glad I did the method either way so do I re recommend this here no because it's a lot to deal with also does it shed hell yes it sheds because every day I'm detangling it every day it's getting washed every day my brush my fingers are going through going through it like yes mm-hmm it sheds you're gonna get here everywhere but that's what it comes with for the most part when the hair is wet when it's moisturized woo, when it's wet yes the curl pattern is beautiful I love it so much I just wish that it would just stay wet forever but when it dries it looks mm -mm, too much too much but if you want to see a video where I style the kinky hair with a flower crown but you can also do the same styles without the flower crown I just prefer the flower crowns because of my leave out and I'm not really going the extra mile to make sure it blend I don't give a damn no more I soon take this out leave requests down below I'm actually going away this Friday I think I said that in every single video I recorded this week so bear with me okay I'll see you guys in my next video and I love you guys I never really say that in videos, but I love you guys, especially the people who I see comment frequently. Like, I have, like, 2,600 subscribers, and I get, like, a handful of people, like, probably this much people, like, the same people comment on my videos all the time. You know who you are. I always reply to you. I love you, and just thanks for the support and the respect. It's just crazy how the numbers don't really add up but nothing I can do about it. Just thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!